So guys, I woke up, just had a beautiful idea, a boss idea. I'm gonna start a podcast. Subscribe yep. to BTV. I'm gonna start a podcast. <laughs> Dead ass series. Make sure you get a bamboo bottle. And of course, a McQueen and a Violet Fog bottle. Big business opportunity for you, Rick Ross. I'm only gonna tell you this one time, Ross. You better stop fucking playing with me, man. You hear me? And mind your fucking business, man. Because you went on a nigga Instagram page commenting about me calling me out my name, my nigga, for no motherfucking reason at all. This how this shit started. So I'm going to tell you again, man. Leave me the fuck alone, man. I see your little funky ass video. I spend more money on my cow's hooves than you spend on your wife. You're probably right, nigga. Because I ain't bored. I caught her, nigga. She fuck with me because who I'm blessed to be, not because I bless her with a fee. But ain't you the nigga that's here? I put Molly all in that drink and she ain't even know it. <laughs> Goddamn Ricky Raper, bitch. Huh? Stop talking about money, man. Because money don't unlame the lane, nigga. There's a lot of suck-ass niggas out here with money and you on the list. Matter of fact, you the captain of the Suckers with Money Association of America, nigga. And we ain't impressed. So mind your business. Because that's your problem. You're always minding niggas' business. You was minding Birdman business some years back when you was running around talking about, give Khaled the money you owe him. Well, you give Meek the money you owe him, nigga. Because you got him in a 1914 slave deal. A Harriet Tubman joint that he signed when he was 19 and now he's 35. I thought you said, a boss is one that guarantee we gonna eat. Well, why you ain't be negotiating with a real nigga? Thank God he fucking with them white boys. He fuck around, be broke, busted, and disgusted fucking with you. He's a hell of a businessman, though. Salute to you, Meek. But stop talking about money, man. And stop pushing that Bel Air on niggas. Because they don't drink that shit no more. I got the ice electric blue body. And I got the lime green body that float in the air. Like a Latin's carpet. We don't give a fuck. We don't want it, man. Niggas don't drink that shit, man. And slow up on them goddamn lemon peppers. Because you're about a six piece away from a heart attack, nigga. <laughs> Leave me the fuck alone. I'm telling you, this ain't what you want like Lil Dirk first single, nigga. You better leave me alone. And one thing about me, I'm not no hater. I salute you. Your crib is immaculate, nigga. I'm talking about your crib is one of one, nigga. Unbelievable. But the whole Atlanta know you live dead smack in the hood, nigga. Right off Old National. Two blocks away from the blackest Walmart in the state. You ain't had a good night's sleep since you moved in that motherfucker. You know how them niggas in Atlanta breaking houses. You worrying about them niggas jumping your wall every night, nigga. And I get that raggedy ass cow to Labor Day before them niggas hop the wall and steal that motherfucker. Be riding on the old national. Be good for the hood. Fuck is wrong with you, man. Leave me the fuck alone, man. I'm not the nigga that you want to play with, Ross. You hear me? Hit that yeah, like yeah. button. CEO. Slash drug dealer Kingpin. Remember, we was on the same record label together. Teflon. Remember that? When you used to go to work, you tell niggas, lock it in. Then you come home, you change your uniform, you put your hat on backwards, and then you go in the studio and be a, a drug dealer Kingpin rapper. Oh. <laughs> Leave me the fuck alone, man. This ain't what you want.